Hey, what's up guys, you like Friday, I'll see what time Fall 2 is now out. So for this video, I'll give you a quick run through of what's new and some of the big changes. If you want to know all the small details and other stuff like bug fixes, I'll leave a link in the description with the full patch notes. So, first thing you're going to notice with the new update is that the title screen sticks. <laughs> yeah, this is not a still image in the background, this is actually recording of the main menu. I'm not sure if it's just me or people on PlayStation 4, but the title screen sticks for like 2-3 minutes and then the game starts. So, moving on, when you hit find game, first thing you're going to notice is that they change how matchmaking works. This is something they call mixed state matchmaking. You can select all the game modes you want to play and the game is going to fit you into each one of those modes instead of at the end of a round you have to back out and then select which game mode you want and then find another match for that. So I think they did this to make um, matchmaking faster. In the customization section, uh, they replace the little locks with the in-game currency symbol, so it'll be easier to tell uh, what stuff you can spend credits on and which stuff have to be unlocked from advocate gifts. We also have two new executions, one is called Late Hit and the other is In Your Face. Late Hit is the one you would have seen teased in the uh, Trailer. This execution can't be bought. This is like a three part unlock. To get this, you have to get 15 kills using the inner pieces execution, and not yet that, you have to execute 50 pilots. And as you can see, I am nowhere near unlocking that. <laughs> but this is what the in your face execution looks like get behind an enemy, and you take them down, and they knife to the face. This execution is going to cost you 300 credits like all the rest. As nice as that does look though, I prefer the Grand Theft Semi-Auto Execution. Looks a lot more humiliating. <laughs> now on to Titan changes. First up is Scorch. When you aim it down the site, you can now see where shots are going to land. Just like when throwing grenades, they've added the little arc so you could place your shots much better. Next up is Tone. First thing on the list, she's had the salvo core's damage reduced and the fall off damage has also been removed from the salvo core rockets. So it doesn't matter what distance or how far away you are, once they hit you, they should do the same amount of damage as if you are right in front of an enemy. They've also increased the cooldown of the sonar pulse and reduced the projectile size of the 40mm. They've also made improvements to the burst loader that is the perk you can put on which makes the single fire uh, tracker do a three round burst when you hold it down like this right here. When leaving aim down the site that's going to clear the charges and it goes back into single fire mode and they've also updated the audio cues for this perk. They've also removed the damage fall off from North Star's flight core rockets and increase the dash regenerate and they've also did the same thing for Ronin increasing his dash regenerate as well and lastly they fixed Ion's Vortex Shield where when you reflect whatever damage is coming at you it would deal a higher amount of damage than was intended next up is a weapon balancing starting with everyone's favorite LMG the Devotion They've added more recoil to the first shot which makes it harder to single fire but as you can see here I'm doing that just fine so it's not really that big of a difference. They've also increased the damage to all of rate so you can't stand on top of the building anymore and spread people halfway across the map. That is now over. They've also increased the view during full auto fire. They fixed the archer's holding speed so it can trap targets properly now after you fire. Last weapon to get balanced is the MGL grenade launcher. They reduce the projectile speed and increase the fuse time. So it's going to shoot slower, but the grenades are going to take just a little bit longer to blow up. The shooting speed, when compared to before the update, is not really that noticeable, probably like a half second at most. You, you'll get used to it pretty quickly. Now on to gameplay changes and the real reason we're here, the new light fire mode. It's two teams of six and there's no respawning. You either win by killing everyone on the enemy team or having the flag 
when the timer runs out at the end of the match. This is the first map called Stacks and it's kind of industrial based. Lots of cover everywhere and buildings all around which makes wall running easier and running high up in the map and confusing enemies just like that. This is the second map called Meadow. I hate this. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty much in a meadow and it has very limited cover so you have to move between the bushes and the rocks. And you gotta keep an eye on your surrounding cause enemies can pretty much be anywhere. Like this guy just jumped out of nowhere or something like me. Yeah, this game mode kinda reminds me of Rainbow Six Siege a little bit with the tactics and all but I'll leave that for another video. A new Colosseum map is now in the game, well, not really new, it's the old map with three pillars in the middle, <laughs> but they did change the weapons from the EPG-1 and the charge rifle to the, I think it's called the softball, and the wingman elite. Not really a big fan of this change because eh, these weapons are kind of easier to use because they're, you know, they're more direct. With the EPG you kind of had to um, lead on the target and shoot, but yeah, these weapons are a lot more easier to use, so I don't think I'll be playing all the same as much anymore. It doesn't seem as fun with these weapons, but hey, maybe that's just me. And lastly, remember that thing where you trap a titan, nuclear eject, get a kill, call in another titan, and all that before you even hit the ground again? You know what I'm talking about? If you don't, then I mean this right here. those days because this is no longer in the game. Nuclear jet and killing an enemy no longer fills up the titan meter in the lower left so you're gonna have to you know get a titan the old fashioned way by playing the objective. And I think that's about it for all the major changes. Like I said if you want to check out any small details or stuff like that I'll leave a link to the full patch notes in the description down below. But yeah guys that's it for this video. If you found this helpful, you can leave a like or a comment down below and subscribe for more Titanfall 2 videos. Thanks for watching.